Imagine that, Brian. Imagine that. <laughs> Thank you, Brian. Okay. Next in news for your health, saving time, saving your heart. A device that you hold up to the telephone to find out if you're having a heart attack. In news for your health, is it indigestion or a heart attack? A device to help tell the difference. Well, surprisingly, many heart attack victims wait hours, sometimes days after their symptoms begin, before seeking help. It's the middle of the night and they don't want to bother their doctor, or it feels like indigestion. Or, especially in women, they aren't classic crushing chest pains. Now, there's an easier way to tell the difference. When it comes to a heart attack, minutes lost mean heart muscle lost, which translates into permanent heart damage and less chance of surviving. But about two-thirds of all heart attack patients have already suffered significant irreversible heart damage by the time they get to the hospital. The biggest delay in uh, patients coming to the hospital for their heart attacks occurs from the time their symptoms start until they first arrive in the hospital. Surprisingly, many heart attack patients delay calling their doctor or going to the hospital because their symptoms aren't overwhelming or classic chest pain. Like Paul Eisman, who'd already had a heart attack and two bypass operations. So it wasn't centered, you know, the same way. It might have been a little lower down, well, maybe indigestion, this and that and you do tend to wait. Which could be a fatal delay. And that's why Paul's cardiologist recommended yeah. this, the EK Guard device and that's service. Can you tell me a little bit about what kind of signs and symptoms you're having? At the first symptom, the patient would call into the toll-free number, staffed yeah, every day around the clock by a trained EMT. Take a look at her risk factors. We're going to look at her previous diseases, allergies, her medications, and any surgeries. Any sign of heart trouble, and the call goes immediately to a board-certified cardiologist who's also there, who can direct the patient to take their own EKG. The device records that, and with the push of a button, transmits it to the response center, so the cardiologist can determine what's happening. For high-risk patients like Paul, that's absolutely peace of mind to an individual like myself with uh, cardiac history that I have. So, yes, absolute peace of mind. Now, in addition to calling 911, the service alerts the hospital, so their heart team is ready, again, saving time. Countries where similar systems are in use have significantly shortened the time from the start of symptoms to getting help. Of course, if the symptoms are dramatic, a patient should call 911 immediately on their own. But for people at high risk, those are the right patients who need this. Sounds uh, good. Now we can just get the flu shots distributed. Yeah. Things yeah. Will be we'll, we'll, good we'll see what we can do about that. All right, Dr. Max, thanks. And that's going to do it for Live at 5. Thanks for joining us. New Channel 4 6 starts right now. Good night.